Welcome to part two of this engine assembly concept that I'm doing here. Uh, what we're going to be doing for this video is going to do the connecting rod, the crankshaft, and if we have time, we add additional stuff to it. Um, and then part three, we're going to be assembling them all together and then hopefully make them all move. Um, so let's get started on the um, uh, connecting rod. Let's do it. So go to new, parts, sketch, select XY plane. Select the circle, hover over the yellow dot till you see the green dot there, snap it on there and type in one inch. And the uh, same thing, outside diameter, we want 1.25. Go over here, snap onto the horizontal line that you see there. And what we want for this is total of two inch diameter. And for the outside diameter, we want 2.5. Once we finish with that, we just want to draw a line from the outside diameter here. You see that yellow dot, bring it all in the center because we're going to trim out this axis here. Now we're just going to be dimensioning that. Okay, hover over that center dot there and there. Type in nine inch, say okay. Go to extrude, highlight there and there, go to symmetric. What we want for this is 1.5, so it's equally distributed in the center there. Go back to sketch, origin, go to XY. Now select the construction line tab there and select the line and just draw a, a construction line there. It doesn't matter what the dimension is, we're going to be using that later on here. Go back to the line without the construction using it. So we go there, draw a line. It doesn't matter again for now. What we want to do is go to the dimensions, constraint, select that and the bottom piece. And what we want for this is 0.75. Now we want to do another um, dimensions here in that yellow dot there, and we want. 0.375 so it's even out here okay now what we're going to do is go to project geometry select there and there as you can see it, that yellow lines it's drawing a line there solid line now what we want to do is draw another line from here and we want 0.75 for this zoom out a little bit if you can go for circle draw a circle here with a four inch diameter now we're going to do a tangent from this one and this one and select the coincident constraint here select there and select that little dot there around the line there there you have it now we're going to do an extension there and there stay in here too and here what we're going to do now is just cut this one off and we're going to mirror these right here. So escape, hold down the shift, click, click, select the mirror, select mirror line, select the construction line, apply. And what we want to do now is just to trim off this extra here. Go to trim. There you have it. Say OK. Go into the uh, extrude, highlight that, go to symmetry. Select one inch for this and say OK. Now highlight there. Select sketch. What we want to do is draw our circle up from that dot there. Go all the way up. Doesn't matter how far, but just get it enough up there and type in 0.5. Now we want to dimension that from here to that yellow line there. This we want 0.5. Grab the line. From that center dot yellow there, you want to just draw straight down, perpendicular to the bottom there, and to there. Select the circle and the center dot, draw a 0.25. Now we're going to trim off the extra here. There you go. Said OK. Now select extrude. Select that one there. Change the direction for it, and we want 0.75 the distance there so it looks something similar to this we're just going to mirror this one and bring it out down there so select mirror select the part area there okay now select mirror plane and select uh, the x 
Z there and you could see the little preview of it and said okay and that's pretty much done for this one so uh, you could save this one and then um, on your file and then we're gonna do the assembly later so now let's go do the extra other parts there here we want to go to new parts select that XY and we want to draw a two inch diameter yeah, same thing here we want to do a uh, 2.5 diameter so what we're going to do is just do the opposite side of the connecting rod there the connector uh, basically the same steps but um, I'm just going to do the opposite way so it's a good practice to do uh, we could do here so I'll trim that off what I'm going to be doing is said okay on this one there back to symmetric we want 1.5 now what we're going to be doing is go back to the um, XY origin there. What we're just going to be doing is project the geometry there. Dot draw line. 0.75. Draw, draw another line here. Or let it snap right onto it. Is it okay? Extrude that piece there using the uh, symmetrics we want this one to be one inch just to give it that look so once we finish with that we want to highlight this one here select sketch that's the same thing as what we did same distance we want that to be um, 0.5 draw another line and again there's other method of how to do this but um, I find it this way it's a little bit easier for me so but if you find another way of doing it um, you know feel free so after you do all this you want to trim that off extrude oh, there you go change the direction to the other side and we want 0.75 same concept we want to do just do a simple mirror again select select the part to do extrusion there mirror plane X, Z, say OK, and then you could save this one and um, get it ready. So now let's go do the uh, crankshaft. First, we go new parts, sketch. We want to draw a circle of this one to be a three inch diameter. And then say OK, extrude. Hopefully, I don't run out of time while I'm doing this because um, I don't. I'm limited to uh, doing this. For this, yeah, I just want to change direction to the other side. Um, it really wouldn't matter which side you want to do it at, but this is what I'm going to be doing it as, and then one inch, which is what I have. Okay, select this face here, sketch, select the circle again. What we want is two inch for this one. Say OK, extrude. So you're pretty much going to be doing this step over and over, and I'm going to be doing a, an array for it later on too. Okay, once we do that, select that face, um, sketch, we want to choose this one here, the center to 10 center slot. Select this, uh, the dot there, you go up, what I want to type in is 2 inch there, and 4 inch. That would draw that one out, and say OK. Extrude, highlight inside and out, and what we want for this is 0.5. Okay, once we finish with that one, we want to add this one here, select the face, select there, select the circle, 2 inch for this, say OK. And select extrude, select the circle, inside circle there to highlight it. What we want for this is 1.5. Okay, now select that face again. What we want to do now, go into Project Geometry and highlight that whole thing here, just like that. Now you can see it's already done. Select Extrude, select the same thing, and we want 0.5 for this. Say OK. What we want to do now is draw from the bottom here. So highlight the face there again. Select that circle. Go into the uh, project geometry there and hover over till you see the small one because we're using the same uh, dimensions there. Extrude, doing the same thing as what we did earlier, but this one we want two inches. Okay, there we go. You get that.
So now we're going to do the opposite way of um, doing the rod there. So select that again. Face. This We're going to be doing this for a few times. So um, bear with me on it. There. Bring it down. Two inch. Four, yeah, four inch for that. Say OK. Let's do and we want 0.5 for this. Okay. Same thing, highlight the face. Circle. And two. Say OK. And extrude this one to be a 1.5. Say OK. And the same thing here, select that face. Select there. Oh, select project geometry and that's this is the one that we want right here say it okay extrude that 0.5 for this and you're pretty close of getting done so now we're gonna use the array to um, connect these here so what we want to do is just select the array select that piece holding down the shift select all of them until it turns blue and then now we want the direction so I usually use this one here which is Z axis um, now as you can see that's the distance that's going to go through we want to change the direction to go that way so this is kind of um, I think I was using 4.5 yep 4.5 as you can see everything is moved to right there there you have that one so now what I'm going to do is basically um, array these over here so what I want to do is select these Oops. select array first okay select that holding down the shift you want to select these and go into the direction again using the uh, Z axis now change the direction what we want to do is just to get it to meet here so I think I was using 8. 8 still not enough. I think it's 13.5. Let's try 13.5. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So that's what we have. So we got the f inline 4 uh, crankshaft there. Kind of looking like it, but you know, you could d put some more detail into it. What I want to finish it off with is just a little diameter here. Um, sketch. So I'll just put a little smaller one so I could tell the difference here. I'm going to do a uh, 1.25 say ok and extrude that out um, it really wouldn't matter too much for this one so I'm just going to do 2 inch and there you have it the connecting rod um, save it you could uh, change the color now if you want with the material um, if you want you just go into this one right now and just change it uh, I'm going to be putting it all together in assembly um, here in part three so um, don't forget to su subscribe to my channel and let's do it part three